welcome fans of flip clocks. Sometimes I've been online and I thought I had an understanding of a clock. And in this case, I was completely wrong. I've seen this clock many times online and on eBay. It just so happens I got lucky on a on an auction. I won this for $2 plus shipping, believe it or not. But I was totally wrong. Totally wrong on the size of this clock. So I got into Flip Clock Fan Studios and found out it's a little pipsqueak. I couldn't believe it. Here's a can of Coke Zero. The clock is only three and a quarter inches tall and six inches long. Now I use the Copal 227 as an example of size because the Copal 227 is a small clock. But not compared to this clock, it's a little taller than the 227. Seth Thomas Speed Read. It's digitals for the modern time telling of the 1970s. You see it had a calendar. It had a couple years in there. And this one was on sale because the calendar was running out of years. You see it's a computer age time, the Speed Read by Seth Thomas. You can take the calendar out and put a photo in there. But I'm not sure I would take a perfectly good photo, cut it up and stick it in there. I just as soon leave it out and look at it as it is. So here we have it. I'll take a quick look at it. And yes, you can see it's not a flip clock. And there's a reason I'm, I've gotten this clock. I'm going to do a story on Seth Thomas. I mentioned that last video. This is the Seth Thomas Speed Read model E039-001. This is the walnut version. And there's a beige version. So we're going to take this clock apart and talk about this type of mechanism. Many or most of you know that this is what's called a rolling wheel, rolling drum, or cyclometer clock. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. You can see here we've got a tab at the bottom looks like we're going to go after. This time I'm going to use my trusty everyday carry blade. Seems like I like to live dangerously taking blades to my clocks. But you need something thin at first and then stiff so that you can pry the bottom away. And lift that out. I need a better tool probably. I like the shape of that. Anyway, we lift it away and reveal the cyclometer mechanism. This is a specific type where you have three different size wheels or drums. We're going to show how that works and also how to clean it because as you see, to turn it you use your grubby finger and, that, and the, the minutes especially have gotten dirty. It's pretty basic, it's just electric coming into a motor. So to get this clock apart, it's pretty obvious. We've got two screws. That is a really, really heavy, thick washer there. I'm not sure what the point of that is, but there it is. So it's real simple to get the mechanism out. We just lift away. Now, would you look at that? They spray painted it. So here's the beige clock hiding underneath all that paint. Oh, well. It's interesting. They did a good job on the uh, on the rest of the clock. Look at this wood grain. That's actually really good wood grain. Comparatively, some of the wood grain clocks just look like they dipped them in swirled paint. If you like wood grain. And we all did in the 70s. So what do we got here? Pinwood Numicron, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Made in USA. So it's using a Penwood motor and a penwood mechanism. So obviously Seth Thomas worked it out with the Penwood Corporation. You see this mechanism is mechanically perfect. They said this mechanism was patented in the 30s. And it was by Frederick A. Greenwald. He calls it simply a clock. And he did reference the the wheels as drums. Now later, Adolf Holsner seems to me to be one of the first to start calling a cyclometer clock. The definition of cyclometer is an instrument for measuring circular arcs or an instrument attached to a bicycle for measuring the distance. And it seems most likely that they attach the name cyclometer because it is a wheel that is measuring time. Modern 
definitions don't bring into account that there's clocks called cyclometers. But whatever you call it, whether it's cyclometer or drum clock or wheel clock, they were very prevalent in the 30s up to the 50s and, and as you see even into the 70s. There's a lot of people who collect simply cyclometers, that's all they do collect, and it's something to consider. When you look at this mechanism, you can see an extension there by the 30 seconds, and it needs to be there by the 30 so that when it hits 60, that will impact this gear here, or this indention on this drum, on the minute drum. Of course, this motor is turning at one revolution a minute, obviously. And so once that turns that, it's going to advance that until you get to the nine. You see there's a, like a triangle shaped extension, just one on the nine. And that's to impact the minutes here, the tens. And each digit, you may not be able to see it, has a place where that will touch and advance the, the time there. Now there's only going to be one over here on the five to impact the hour wheel and every hour has on the inside of the drum there something to impact. Now you see that thing there? The brass thing? It's like a spring and what that does, each drum has one. There's an indention on the inside of the drum and that locks that wheel in place or makes it snap to, snap into place and you can feel it snapping in. I'm not sure where this one's at. So that one there is for that one. But each drum has one to hold, hold the numbers in place. And you'll see them drop into place. I can feel it, but I can't see it. Well, there it is. So this one's on the outside here. You can easily see how that spring would just kind of drop into place into each groove. That's really kind of a neat, a neat little invention. Very simple. And it's and it's functional and it works. It's a masterpiece. Of course, obviously, there's many drawbacks to just a simple cyclometer like this. It's just uh, there's no AM or PM and it's hard to make an alarm to go along with something like this. But it's a good timekeeper. As good as any analog clock. Snaps right too. Now we want to talk about the cleaning of this mechanism. I'm going to use this stuff called Koala Cleaner. It's for well, it's for eyeglasses. You can use it for cell phones. You can use it for the cell phone camera lens. It's a real gentle cleaner. I'm just taking a chance here because this clock didn't cost me that much. Now I'll admit that I had a older cyclometer and I attempted to use ammonia on the numbers and I wiped the numbers clear off, just clean off. This stuff seems to be working really nicely. I wouldn't use anything with ammonia. I wouldn't use alcohol. Look at that. It was obviously from a smoker's home. It doesn't have the smoke smell, but the tar over the years has built up. Yeah, it's cleaning it pretty good. I should probably get another squirt here. I would consider on all your clocks using either water or some kind of simple thing like this. And alcohol, even on your flip clocks, you're taking a risk, I think. It's pretty dirty because of the grubby fingers. Oh, well, that's another reason flip clocks are better, huh? Well, I think the clock went for a real low price because either people weren't watching or on the listing, it looked kind of messed up on the top. And I've already wiped it once with water before this video. And, and I did that and it turned out really good. Now here, you've got a kind of like a chrome or a chrome, paint, chrome painted stripe. or So I don't know what it's going to do to this. I'm just going to take a chance like, hey. The clock only costs $2 plus shipping, so let's just go for it. Then that way, anyone else might know if this is okay. I wouldn't scrub it, but... 
Seems to be doing just fine. Yikes. This clock is dirty. It's a good thing we got the brown one, huh? The beige one probably really shows the dirt. The reason I didn't put it in soap and water like I do some of my clocks is I'm really trying to preserve this label for a video I'm doing in the future. And plus there's no need for it. This clock isn't isn't uh, full of that black stuff. I think that black stuff comes from circuitry, circuit boards. This is just straight dust and stuff. There's no bugs in there. Here's the back. I really like the shape of this. It just reminds me of something space age, the way they got that. I haven't, I haven't used any water on this and ooh, that is nasty. Cleans up really nice. I like that Koala cleaner. And, and then this is an, isn't an endorsement. I'm not getting, or it's not a paid endorsement. You can consider it sort of as an endorsement if you like. Just get some, okay? Anyway, cleans up real good. It's a really nice wood grain. Like I said, back in the 70s, it was all about wood grain. But they used to have paneling. Do you remember that in the basements? Everybody had paneling. That was the thing. So there we have it. The Seth Thomas Model E039-001 walnut version. Nice little clock. If you're into cyclometers. Well, thanks for taking the time.